Welcome to our deep learning tutorial. Today, we're tackling an important question from one of our viewers. They have a massive three terabyte data set and want to train a deep learning model using their 12 core CPU and 12 gigabyte GPU. The challenge, they need to load data asynchronously to ensure that the training loop isn't held up waiting for new batches to load into memory. Let's dive into how we can achieve this efficiently using popular libraries like Torch, PyTorch, or TensorFlow. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To efficiently train your deep learning model with a large data set, we need to implement asynchronous data loading. This ensures that the training loop is not blocked while waiting for data to load. We'll use PyTorch for this example, as it provides a straightforward way to implement asynchronous data loading using the Data Loader class. First, ensure you have PyTorch installed. Next, create a custom dataset class that inherits from PyTorch's dataset. This class will handle loading your data from disk. Use the data loader with the numWorkers parameter set to a value greater than zero to enable multi-threaded loading. Now, during training, the data loader will load batches of data asynchronously. This means while the model is training on one batch, the next batch is being loaded in the background. Finally, monitor your GPU and CPU usage to ensure that your system is efficiently utilizing resources. Adjust the NumWorkers parameter based on your CPU cores for optimal performance. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To asynchronously load and train batches for a deep learning model, you can use a pandas data frame to manage your data. This allows you to shuffle your data at the start of each epoch and send mini batches to the GPU while keeping the CPU busy. Instead of relying on a directory structure for class labels, create a data frame that includes unique IDs, class labels, and file paths. This approach is flexible for different classification tasks. The Keras generator code is simple. You define a generator function that reads from the data frame in chunks, normalizes the images, and yields the pixel data and labels. The core of the generator function processes batches of images, converting them to arrays and yielding the pixel data and labels for training. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Train your deep learning model without relying on the Imaginet folder structure, you can create a custom data loader. This can be done in various frameworks, including PyTorch. A helpful PyTorch sample code is available online. It demonstrates how to load the next batch while training your model. Make sure to set the number of workers 
to the number of threads you want to run in parallel for efficient loading. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To asynchronously load and train batches for your deep learning model, consider using existing Imaginet codes. Here are some resources you can check out. Make sure to prepare your data in the specified format for these frameworks. Are these the resources you were looking for? And that's it guys. We've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.